Ow. It hurts when I sneeze. I need a tight, I think. Alright guys, we're gonna attempt my first shower. My neck is a little strained right here. My neck, my back. Yeah, my ankle. My ankle. Ouch. Judy said it looks like a cankle, and you can kind of see a line like right there and there with the vibe. Let's try and fetch into the bathroom and sit and shower. I need things from my armpit. Hold our thing on here. I'm just I'm taking a shower, and I sit on a little chair in my parents' bathroom because my bathroom has a bathtub in it, and it is hard to bathe or shower, and that's kind of worries whenever your foot is broken or fractured for that matter. Actually, it's fractured. I sit on a little chair in here, and then I do my little rinse here. Rinse. And it's impossible to shower because I get so nauseous, and I think their shower is a lot smaller than mine. Not like a flexi way. It's more enclosed than mine. I just think the water's a lot, but it's all up so much. It's literally taking everything in me, and it's not in the wall right now. Like, I live to lean on the wall for like five minutes before I even get out of here because I am going to faint walking back to my room. I don't know why. This has been happening the past few days ever since the accident. Just hope. Oh, 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 well, you know, I just don't know how to fix it. Today was day one of this long road to recovery. We went to the doctor for my back and my ankle. We're here for my foot and mom is more worried about the basketball. We were at the Magic's doctor and my mom is a basketball stan, so she was way more interested about the court than the situation at hand. As you guys saw in my previous vlog, the x-rays of my ankle from this doctor's visit, they put me in one of these boots and told me that I have to strap it in a certain way, as you can see I'm doing here, and then I have to pump it up with a little bit of air. And as you can see there, my toe is sticking out for how swollen my entire foot was. And when I tell you this entire process to do is just absolutely <laughs> miserable. I feel like a f***ing 10 man robot. <laughs> got up today to brush my teeth and I need to get up again to eat because I'm starving and no one's home so let's do that I think I'm gonna make mac and cheese but I'm a little bit annoyed of how jumping from the stove to the kitchen sink to like I don't know I don't know but I think that or chicken and I don't really feel like eating chicken. Milo's scared of the storm so he's hanging out here with me it's been so 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 much pain because of how much i guess there is in it from it being swollen doctor said technically i could just compress it out all myself like by massaging it out but that would hurt like how i'm not doing that i've been wearing a compression sock i actually took the sock off i'm sizing it right now put the sock back on they ask you how you are you just <coughs> oh it hurts when I sneeze. I need a tight. The first few days, I couldn't even put this on myself how much my back hurt. Here is my foot. <laughs> it was puffy all the way up here last night. But that's starting to go away. I can feel some of it still right here. But um, there's the other side. Nothing too crazy. Actually, a little bit. Put that thing back where it came from. Also, help Quite me. update. There we go. And I need to take an allergy bell because that stinker. Leg like, grips, like, as you can hear. Now, we're going to try and put this out. My back. My neck. My Let's bag. try and put this sock back on to compress my foot. My first time doing it on my own. And I don't think I will actually be able to because of my back. My neck. My this was the most terrible thing to do ever. The first few days my mom had to do it for me and it was still hard because she couldn't gauge how much it hurt me or didn't even know what to do, but she was not home at this time and I just could not, like I needed it on and I, as you can see, I, oh. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. I just cannot do it. And I literally wanted to cry so bad because not only was it hurting my foot, but it was hurting my back to lean Ow. over and I was just getting so frustrated at the fact that it just was not going to happen and I just felt that like, I was not going to be able to put the sock on. And it also isn't even a real compression sock. It's just a Nike sock. I'm still frustrated about this entire situation. And now I can't just put a stupid sock on that I used to be able to do, what, like four days ago at this point? But I finally got it on. I found the right ankle. Ankle. Angle. Oh God, I did it. I'm probably going to have to censor it because my cooter was right facing the camera. But dude, that's 
that's what I had to do. I don't even care if that sounds weird because I was just so damn happy to have that damn sock on. <sighs> Let's make some food. Okay, let's attempt to finish this mac and cheese while I on crutches. Yay! A few moments later. As I mentioned about the showers, for some reason, every afternoon I would just get so nauseous. After that whole sock debacle, I don't even know if that's the right word, but I just was so frustrated because I knew that this was just going to be a whole fail. Dude, I need something to rest my foot on. As I mentioned earlier, my foot was so swollen, so anytime that I stood up, everything, I think it was the blood, would rush down to my foot and it would just hurt so bad. So standing up was just the worst thing ever for I don't even know how long, maybe two weeks. And it would just be physically draining just to stand up, not only for my foot, but my back and just my entire body. And as I mentioned, every afternoon for whatever reason I would just get so nauseous and I understand my parents have things to do I can't expect them to be home all the time mostly because they have lives themselves but it was just so frustrating that I couldn't do anything on my own I had to some way figure out how to bring this bowl to my room and not break it while on crutches <gasps> I just have to do everything in intervals or else I'll pass out my back my back my leg <laughs> everything dude. you can just see the gray cloud over me and the only thing that would look like it would help is screaming and crying and surprisingly i did not do that, that okay way. i can't even attempt to vlog to take this to my room because there's no way oh, today has just not been the best day i've been alone all day and that's just not good for me for me sitting in this tiny little with room. milo some more nothing broke nothing got destroyed i'd love to see that i'm now editing the video that you guys are going to see of uh me the the, the whole the whole accident just that whole thing but i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog we are on the road to recovery now and i'm bringing you guys with me or else i am probably gonna cry if i am alone any longer I'll see you guys next week as always happy silly side peace out i love you guys bye